What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today, I've got some more Hearts of Iron 4. We're playing as Legionary Romania. We are in a race against time here because if we do not take Moscow soon and if the Russians do not capitulate soon, then we will not have enough time for the Germans or us to swing back around over here to the west to go to war against the Allies. And so... We are working on surrounding Moscow currently. Let's go ahead and unpause it. I want to be able to help. I want to be able to help the Germans as much as I possibly can. Good lord. We are seeing good uh, air supremacy. That's one good thing. Um, let's see how many troops we have actually bombed over here in Central. Any buildings bombed? Any fighters lost? Really? Hmm. Are they out of range, potentially? I bet they are. Because we've got new, we've got new, uh, airfields now. So, close air support for the 200. I'm going to pull you out of this one. And we will install you up here. Like this. So, we'll deploy you guys like that. And then the fighters, you know. I guess you guys can come up here as well. We've got an airfield right up here against Moscow. Add 100 fighters. Very good. So we'll wait for those guys to deploy and reassign them, so we can help. Uh, we can help this push. We are. Are we going into Moscow now? We are. We're pushing in 94, 96, 99. Boom! And they still didn't capitulate. Fuck. We just took Moscow, guys. It is under our possession. I just got a bunch of new military factories. Go figure. Oh, right, like 12 of them. Put three here. Put three here. Give some extra production to the tanks. And there we go. Holy shit, you guys. So if we update this, Leningrad is the new capital. I took a big chunk out. But there are 64%. <clears throat> okay, we have two divisions up here assigned that we want to say, hey, offensive line, Leningrad, Obvi. I want to delete, actually, I'm going to delete my front lines here. I'm going to put a new front line starting, of course, here in Moscow. And we're going to drag this up north because we're going to try to help the Germans now go after Leningrad. Offensive line. Boom. All right, so we'll let those guys get in position. 22. 22 divisions. We're, we're leaving things kind of open down here, I hope. You know, Moscow's right there. I'm going to have to redraw my front line for my blue group. Because they've been helping all over the place. Delete you. But we need to make sure that we can, um, maintain control of Moscow. So, I'm going to go like this. And Stalingrad. The line will go down to Stalingrad. Okay. So you guys can move and get in position. The front is too big, unfortunately. The front is just way too fucking big here. So once yellow group gets in uh, position, we'll go ahead and tell them to make moves up against Leningrad. More military factories. Oh, my, my new um, air units have arrived. Standing by, Central Russia. Central Russia, boom, boom. Just like that. So they are going to try to take Moscow back very, very quickly. We need to defend that. 
blue units now moving into place. Are there any more victory points over this way that are big? Really? It's just Leningrad. Uh, five, ten up here in Gorky. One and five. Ten would be nice. What if I give my blue group an offensive order? That might work. I'll let you guys prepare. Okay. Now, if we need to sacrifice men to get Leningrad, we will. Some division's still not in position. Okay. We need to push north, though. We need to go ahead and do that. I'm going to tell them to go ahead. I've got a lot of positions, or uh, a lot of divisions in place, so let's move it. Let's go. More military factories. What a great problem to have. I'll put another one into mechanized there, which would be nice. My new divisions should be popping out pretty soon as well. 1943, it's September, so... Actually, let's go ahead and get that construction. That's important. Ugh. Hate looking at the uh, Western Front there. Uh, we just need to... We just need to hold them away from Berlin. As much as we can. Okay. Now, are Blue, are you in position? Are you in position to make a run at that other victory point? Potentially. Alright, I think so. So. Blue. Go. Plan Blue. Still holding Moscow pretty nicely there. I'm okay with that. We have, do have a large river up here, so maybe we can push in from the south. Yeah, these guys are going to move really quickly. What is my casualty limit up to now? 710. Damn, son. 711k. Germans have experienced 2 million loss in this, uh, this battle. Good to see that the German victory points are not being taken at all. Soviet Union now 67%. Leningrad will be big. Uh, Sevastopol. That's annoying, because that's uh, 20 victory points. We have trapped them all in here, though, which is great. Maybe I could bomb them with some close air support. Yeah, let's try that. <clears throat> I'm going to throw in all of my close air support ones, and that'll be your job, is just bombing the guys trapped in Sevastopol. So they are deploying. We've got to wait for them to come out. Where's my uh, fleet? Because we have a ton of new subs. Tell you guys to chill for a minute. Come back here. I'm about to double the size of my fleet. Pow. 54 subs. Boom. Patrol. Search and destroy. Yes. Tons of new subs. Okay. Air wing is now ready. Oh, he's still deploying. October 9th. Standing by. Ukraine. And close air support it. Thank you. Okay. Still looking good all over my empire here. Looking very good. How are we pushing up this way? <clears throat> I like to see the green dots. Over 50. So we do continue to move there. But Leningrad here... Hmm. For example, can I mount an attack like this? Yes. That's going to go pretty quickly. So I can speed this up a little bit, I think, by microwing up here. Germans, you've got my back. Let's continue to push. I'm going to take these two divisions. Is going to be my... Well, shit, I don't want to go right there. But we're winning that, so that's okay. Maybe we need to do that to get across to Leningrad. 
the new Russian capital. Okay, now we're gonna fight on either side. Perfect. Perfect. Keep driving, boys. Keep driving. <clears throat> Leningrad's about to fall. Oh no. Okay. Whew. Almost got cut off up here. Do it, do it, do it. Alright, rocket efforts finished up. We get a new military factory as well. I got four new ones, in fact. One, two, three, and four. Recruit and deploy. I should have new. Did I not? Did I not have new units? Where have you guys been placing them? Montaigne. Which is like over here. So they're not quite ready yet. They've been, we've been waiting on them forever. I've been spending all of my production on reinforcing my units in the uh, Soviet Union. How are we doing down here in the south? Okay, things continue to hold up decently, I would say. And then... How are we looking up here? Okay, Leningrad now being surrounded. Yellow, why aren't you moving? Oh, because he's defending that attack, which is fine with me. Make those moves, boys. We're just, uh, surrounding Leningrad. Can't talk. Okay, four factories. One, two, three. So we'll fill up the artillery production there. What else? Maybe light, light tank production. How am I doing on resources? Surplus. I need some tungsten and some rubber. Tungsten. Getting it from the British Raj currently. Spend a factory there just to get you back. Fine. New national focus. Uh, do we have anything left? Nope. Naval effort. Unread convoy results. Okay, the Soviets lost four convoys there, so we sunk those. Like to see that. Always like to see that. We continue to drive forward. Moscow continues to be ours. We are winning lots of battles up here, and Germany has had to pull all of their guys. Oh, shit. Yes, they're pulling a lot of their guys back to the, towards the west now. Hopefully they can start pushing back on the allies. We're moving in on Leningrad, guys. My men are moving in. 95, 98. Boom! Really? Still no capitulation. God, they're impossible. Okay. Uh, let's get this dispersed industry. Almost 1943, so let's grab it. <clears throat> Naval dockyards. Can I start a new uh, construction? Destroyers. We'll start making destroyers, destroyers and we will uh, upgrade our naval tech when we can. I don't have enough divisions. Um, let's pause. I've got one mechanized guy that's ready. So I'm going to assign you to yellow, group yellow. The other guys, I think I want to just go ahead and deploy. They're very close. Very, very close. Deploy, deploy. Deploy, deploy. Okay. Very good. All of you guys, my new divisions here. 
you're going to be helping out uh, with yellow, or should they go to blue? They may need to go to blue because it's a larger area. Three victory points here, one victory point there. Not a ton of victory points stuck over here. There's a five up here. Uh, you know what? You guys are going to uh, all be assigned to blue. Where my field marshal is. Yes. Very nice. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's see. What else can we do? So we need three rubber. I'm okay with that for the moment. Those guys have all been assigned. If I go to my army here, I've got 102 divisions total. How's that even possible? Just because of all the, yeah, all the volunteers that I have. Yep. Ooh, uh, are there any that are unassigned? How do I tell? Unassigned, for example. Where are you? Aha! See? I've got large amounts of Turkish forces that are unassigned, but I can use. Okay, so I'm going to create a new army group here. Field Marshal, he's being used. All these guys being used. New General. I know he's got more units than he should, but... Whatever. Front line. Okay, Turkey. Up here. And then... Your victory points, or your offensive line, rather, is going to go like that. So we'll let you go ahead and prepare for that. But the Turkish forces suck, to my understanding. So... Oh, okay. Um... Yes, they're very close now. 76% towards capitulation. Where is their new capital? Exactly. I'm going to pause here and find their new capital. Any tips that you guys may have to finish off the Soviets in a relatively quick amount of time would be awesome to hear about. Soviet Union is so fucking big, I can't even see their new capital. <clears throat> Where are you? Ah, Sebastopol. Yes. So, scratch this. I'm going to unassign all three of these <clears throat> infantries like this. <clears throat> there we are. Okay, you three, we're going to create you a little a little group. And I need a new leader. You guys are going to be not purple, but pink. Yeah, you guys will be pink. All right, cool. Pink group. Your front line is going to be down here, and you're going to just destroy yourself until... Oh, I can't do that? They've got to come from over here. I see. You'll be assigned to this with a offensive line order of Sevastopol. Oh, you know what? We should just try a uh, naval invasion. Scratch that. So purple, come to the nearest dock, you'll start here, and there to there, no divisions, it's not a valid province for invasion, well fuck, let's 
start here to there. No? Was it because it's mountainous, potentially? Damn it. Well, we've got to try to find a way to get Sevastopol out of there. We'll work on that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed this content, and we'll catch you next time.